Hi, my name is Brian Walker and I'm the CEO of Retail Doctor Group. Today for our second case study in conjunction with the NRA Digital Business Kits, we're going to explore the world of mobile retailing. The change, the pace, the nature of retailing continues to change. Today, we use this device more than ever to search out information about retailers, to understand our friends and our community's view on products and services, to price shop, to research. We as consumers are armed with knowledge, portability and speed like never before. Join with me in exploring the world of mobile retailing. Today's case studies, we're going to look at four areas of advancing mobile technology that's driving and influencing mobile retailing and the way that consumers want to do business with you. The first is near field communications. Then we're going to have a look at what's called augmented reality, image recognition, and location based technologies. Do you remember the days of cash and credit cards? Well, they may well be disappearing. Our first topic is near field communication, enabling the smartphone to simply tap and go at the retailer of your choice and the transaction is complete. New generations of smartphones already have near field communication built in within the device, slowly but surely eradicating the need for cash and credit cards. Imagine shopping not in a physical store, not in an online store, but using a technology called augmented reality to shop in a virtual store. Your smartphone enables us to do this. Yehudian in China, IKEA worldwide, are two of the topics and case studies that we're about to share with you in the world of augmented reality. Yehudian is an online Chinese supermarket who opened 1,000 virtual 3D stores across the country in prime locations outside office buildings, in city centres, and even outside competitors' stores. Using an application, customers are directed via GPS to where the augmented reality store is, and customers can actually shop from this virtual location on their phone, navigating the aisles and clicking items as they go. Customers then order these products to be delivered to their home. IKEA have also launched an application where you can virtually show how products will look in your home using your smartphone and augmented reality. You can unlock the feature by scanning selected pages in the catalogue with the IKEA application or by browsing the pages in the digital catalogue on your smartphone. Then simply place the printed IKEA catalogue where you want the furniture in your room to be, choose a product from the IKEA range and see how it will look in your home. Our third technology, image recognition, really makes the point about how fast Mobile retailing is changing, technology is changing. Remember QR codes? Well, they're fast becoming obsolete. Image recognition is changing the way that retailers use space in advertising, use space in visual merchandising, such that we can be walking along the high street or a shopping centre, point our smartphone an object in a graphic or display that we like, download information, blogs, reviews, pricing, location of this product, all to our smartphone, enabling us to make very considered views as to whether we want to buy it or not, all by pressing buttons on our smartphone. Image recognition turns the world into one large shop window. The well-known retailer, net a has created a virtual store this way, where shoppers could point their phone at the pictures in the window to see more information and purchase. Snap Fashion is another interesting application where you can upload an image of an item you like and it will perform an online search to find that item and others that are similar that the consumer could compare and purchase. In the case studies so far, we've looked at the way consumers utilise smartphone applications, mobile retailing, when making choices about products or services. But that technology has another side to it. And that's the way that retailers are starting to use new technologies and integrating smartphone usage or mobile retail usage accordingly. Two examples today. One will be around geofencing in a business called Curbside. 
And the second, our very own Woolworths and Coles are trialling the iBeacon, which is really looking very closely at the way we navigate within the stores and sending messages to us about purchase preferences and areas of impulse and interest. Target USA has partnered with an application called Curbside, which uses geofencing, that is location-based technology, to enhance the click and collect experience. You can make a purchase on the mobile application and when you're ready to collect, the app will automatically tell the store you are close so that they can get your purchase ready and hand it through the window to you without you having to even get out of the car. Did you know that currently 77% of shoppers use their smartphone while in shops? Location-based technology is also being used inside the store itself using technology called beacons. Beacons are placed throughout the store and these beacons can send out messages to shoppers' smartphones via Bluetooth. These messages notify shoppers of specials on certain products and where to find that item. This technology is currently being trialled by Woolworths and Coles and we would expect it to continue. Thanks very much for joining us. It's an exciting world. No doubt consumers are embracing smartphone technology and its influence to mobile retailing. We encourage you to do the same and don't be surprised if you see your customers walking in with wearable technology and other great innovations that change the structure and the way that we retail now and into the future. On behalf of the NRA, thanks for your time today.